Yo, what's going on, you guys? It's Dr. J, and we're back with some more NBA 2K17, my team. And I have just bought in Allen Iverson. And it's currently almost 1.30 in the morning. And, man, I have been wanting this card for a long time. Oh, actually, the card hasn't really been out for that long at the time you guys seen this video, of course, you know. Uh, it's been out at the time you guys seen this for about a month, a little over a month or so. Uh, maybe a little bit more than that. But, um, boy, I've been wanting this card. Um, or, like, a, I've been wanting an Allen Iverson card. This is, like, my first in a 2K17. I actually had, um, I actually had two in a 2K16. It was an Amethyst, and I also had the Diamond version. Um, but this is just insane because this is a 98 overall diamond and originally I was trying to uh, find some that came with like um, Like a shoe that had like the uh, Like the it was like a diamond shoe contract So it would be like the infinite thing because I was thinking if I ever wanted to sell this I have a diamond contract so that I can also add the have the diamond shoe on it so I can get more value for it but I got him for a hundred and thirty four thousand which isn't that bad honestly for him um and i had to sell a lot of stuff so i'll show you guys in just a sec but uh, let's go to auction outcomes and let's add alan iverson to my lineup and there was some sacrifices i had to make for my for you know to get alan iverson like i had to sell a lot of my ruby cards uh, I had a quick sell a ton of like um, emerald and sapphire cards just because I was like rushing because I thought I wasn't going to get a card in time. That was like trying to buy him like previously within the last few hours. Um, and I even had to sell, um, um, I've actually bought some amethyst recently because currently at the time you guys seen this, they're doing dynamic duo packs and so a lot of players in dynamic duos are like cheap that's why Iverson so cheap because he's part of the dynamic duos so some of the players I got were like um I'll show it on the screen like right now so yeah I got some players like um Amethyst Jerry West and Amethyst Kareem um like from like the big men um, and the um, what are the lockdown sets because um, I wanted to actually make an all-time Lakers lineup and so I was kind of planning on it but then you know like Jerry West wasn't like the best player to be honest and I was I wasn't really sure why I was doing it but I really just wanted this Iverson so I ended up selling those guys again I got a little bit less than uh, what I did pay for because you know dynamic duo has been going on for a while um, but then again, um, you know, like I think it was worth it and I also had to sell a couple of my diamond players I sold my Jimmy Butler, which I accidentally had in a diamond contract on which I did months ago But that got me a little bit more value because of that contract So I got like instead of selling for like 16,000 I got like 23,000 and then I even sold my DeMar DeRozan diamond which I pulled in packs before which you guys have seen um, but yeah, oh wait, I'm in the, am I in the wrong set? No, I had to just go to him. But man, look at the, got Allen Iverson. So all that for Iverson is worth it in my opinion. And I was kind of thinking I was going to have to sell either my Dennis Rodman or my Paul Pierce, but I didn't have to thankfully, so I'm really happy about that. So, but man, let's check it out. 98 Diamond Allen Iverson, basically a pink diamond. If this were like before they switched like the overalls, this was this would basically be a pink diamond. So 99 offense, 99 defense. That's insane. And he has um, nine uh, Hall of Fame badges and nine gold badges. He has pickpocket, mid ring dead eye, deep ring dead eye, ankle breaker, difficult shots, tireless score, relentless finisher, acrobat, and teardropper and then Caxon and Shoot, Limitless Range, Flashy Passer, Break Starter, Pick and Roll Maestro, Lob City Passer, Dimer, Corner Specialist, and One Man Fast Break. But let's go ahead and check out his uh, stats. 98 Standy Layup and 99 Driving Layup, that's really nice. Post Fadeaway is an 89, that's really good. Um, draw Fouls 98, Shot Close is 98. Wait. All the mid range are 98, so contested, open, and off dribble shot mid range. All 98, that's crazy. 95 for open shot three, contested shot three, and off dribble shot three. So all 95, that's crazy. 
Free throws at 88, that's nice. Ball controls at 98, that's nice. Passing vision is a 94. Passing IQ and passing accuracy are both 98, that's really good. Um, let's see, lateral quickness is a 97. Pass perception, 98. I'm just reading all like the really high stuff. Shot contest is 92. Steals a 98, that's really good. Uh, I mean, that's, that's amazing. Um, defensive consistency is a 95. Um, let's see, driving dunk is a 65, so that's not too bad. One of the those um, diamond shoes made it so he was like a 34 standing dunk. So, I mean, I don't think he could really dunk if he was standing either way. So, but that's okay. Speed is 98, speed with balls 99. That's awesome. 98 acceleration as well, and 98 vertical. Uh, 98 stamina, hustles in 97. Uh, shot IQ and hands are both 98. Reaction time is a 97 and offensive consistency is a 98. And this card is gonna be one of my favorites in the game. And I was also thinking maybe I could also buy that Diamond Kobe, but I do already have that Kobe uh, Amethyst. And so maybe if I wanted to do like in my all time favorite lineup, you know, like put my all time favorite players, make a lineup out of them. I already have like, um, like for like really good cards, I already have three out of my top five, and that's LeBron and Le and Kobe and Iverson. Actually, my favorite, my top five order from one to five is Kobe, Allen Iverson, Vince Carter, who I just he's just one of my childhood favorite players from my childhood. Uh, LeBron and Kevin Garnett. So I mean, I do have like a Kevin Garnett like the. Um, the silver and I have the silver Vince Carter but I'd probably want to get better versions but with this lineup I'm thinking that maybe I'll put Iverson at my point guard because he's only six foot uh, so I think I'm gonna do this um, let's put LeBron on the bench I'm not gonna keep him this low but let's do this um, if we do this that way I have like an all 98 99 lineup and then Let's see, let's rearrange it a little bit. Um, so I'll put Pierce uh, as my like third small forward because of course I wanna have like LeBron above him. And I think I'll, even though like LeBron's a 95, I think I'll put him up a little bit higher. Um, let's see, I'll just switch it up like this. And I think that, that, that looks pretty good. <laughs> Oh my god, dude, I didn't have to sell my peers. I'm so excited about that. Um, but man, that's crazy. Okay, so let's check out my starting lineup. At point guard, who really is shooting guard, but he's only six foot, we got 98 diamond Allen Iverson. At shooting guard, we got pink diamond 99 Dwayne Wade. At small forward, we got uh, pink diamond 99 Elgin Baylor. At, at power forward, who's really small forward, we got 98 diamond James Worthy. And at center, who's uh, really a power forward. We got uh, Pink Diamond 99, Bob Pettit. Then on my bench, we have um, Diamond LeBron James, uh, Diamond Dennis Rodman, uh, Diamond Dave Cowens, Diamond Cindy Moncrief, Diamond Nate Archibald, Diamond Paul Pierce, Diamond Ben Wallace, and 95 Diamond George McGinnis. Dude, I'm, I'm losing my words <laughs> and I'm so tired too. <laughs> I'm so excited I got this lineup though. And I also got some really good um, diamond still on my bench. Like I have um, Sam Cassell, uh, Ron Artest, Willis Reed, Lou Hudson, Ronaldo Blackman, and Zach Randolph. And I also had, like I said, DeMar DeRozan and Jimmy Butler, but I sold them. And I also ended up selling some of my Amethyst too, which I didn't want to, but I ended up selling like what I said before, my Jerry West, Kareem. I also had to sell my Yao Ming which I didn't want to do, but uh, I figure if I ever want to get Yami again, he's pretty cheap, you know, so I can always get him again. And I also sold some Amethyst that only went for like 5K, like Miles Turner, um, who was like 6K, and I sold my Michael Thompson for like 4K. So yeah, I had to make some sacrifices, and I, there's probably even more players that I can't remember, but all that for Iverson, I think it's going to end up being worth it because Iverson's one of my favorite players of all time. He's like my second favorite. So, but man, I, I gotta make I gotta make some kind of like like gameplay with this lineup. It's just insane. So, and I would have like LeBron, of course, in my starting lineup, but you know, I just um, 
I, I just like how that 98 is. Uh, plus, uh, LeBron 6A and uh, 95 being changed with these 6-9 and uh, a 98. So, and also, um, I think I am going to put the diamond contract on. So if I ever want to sell him, I can um, get more for him. But I pretty much don't think I will end up selling him because he's just one of my favorite players. Um, let's do it. So I, as you can see, the bottom left is four, but now it's going to be should be infinite right there we go that took a little bit of time but man so infinite games with this and like i would have done like uh infinite games with like my um you know with these pink diamond players but the thing is though is that like um i would rather put it uh my diamond contracts on players that i can sell in the auction house so a lot so most of the guys i have on here are reward players so like Iverson, LeBron, uh, Nate Archibald, and Paul Pierce, those are like players who you can sell in the auction house. So those are the guys I'd rather put diamond contracts on so I can get more value for them. So that's why I do that because if I were to put on Dwayne Wade, I wouldn't be able to, if I ever wanted to sell him, I can't because he's a reward player. Even though it would be nice having a pink diamond on him, but if I still had that extra pink diamond, because um, I accidentally put uh, my, uh, not pink diamond, sorry. If I still had that extra diamond contract, which I accidentally put on Jimmy Butler, then I could have used it for maybe one of these pink diamonds, but uh, it's whatever. But boy, I'm happy I got this lineup. So, and oh, man, that's such a cool picture. Oh, that's from the um, 2001 finals also. So, because um, of the little patch on the jersey. Man, I'm so excited I got this card. So yeah. But yeah, that's gonna wrap this video up, you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video of me getting Diamond 98 overall Allen Iverson. I can't wait to use this card. And uh problem is is that Billy, I don't even think I have any contracts now. Yeah, like I'm out. So uh I'm gonna have to start like maybe selling some stuff. Even though like the thing though was is that I was at like uh before I started selling a lot of my players, I was like at 1160 cards. So I was, I'm still trying to see if I can go for those, um, like the cards collected, like collector levels and stuff. But at this point, uh, I'm probably not gonna really worry too much about it because I'm probably never gonna be able to get the, the uh, pink diamond Kobe. So I think I'd be, I think I may kind of start worrying about like trying to get like the best players as possible so even though it's kind of hard because I don't have a lot, a lot of players I could sell because it's like most of them are part of these like um, collections that like once you get all the players and get like the diamond rewards you can't sell them so I'm pretty much like in a way screwed but I, I'll have to think of other um, like solutions and possibilities like to make my team better because I can't like, you know, do like all the my team online stuff because my internet sucks. So that's uh, that's kind of the problem there, but I I'll think of something and hopefully I can even make my lineup even better in the future. Um, but yeah, that's gonna wrap this up you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video of me getting Alan Iverson. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching the guys. There'll be more coming soon. And until next time, later peeps. Oh, and yeah, be sure to follow me on Twitter at DrJ24Gaming to keep up with my post. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to keep up more NBA 2K17, Call of Duty, and GTA 5 as well. Later, peeps. Oh, man, I'm so excited.